Hello there. Hello there. General Kenobi. You want to meet him? All right, so this is gonna be a little bit of a longer form video, but I've been getting a few questions about my new cinema rig. And so we've recently switched over to the Ursa 12K. If you're not shooting in 12K in 2022, you're gonna be out of business in 2023. So the main reason for this video is because it really just took me a heck of a long time to figure out exactly what I wanted in this particular rig. And now the main reason for the cinema camera is because it just gives you one word, control. And so you can control pretty much anything you want with no compromises. And so the reason why I went to the Ursa, because I was originally shooting on this little beast, the original 6K. I was on a client shoot, client job, and it was getting close to the end of the day. We only had a few scenes left, and I could smell something funny. The camera was off, but I could smell something funny as we were getting ready to go for a take. And I was powering this off a V-mount battery, and I was using the little 12 volt power cable here. And I gave it a little bit of a sniff, and it was, cook and I'm like oh that's not good so I take it out um, let everything cool down check everything plug it back in and it just never turned back on so I'm not too sure what exactly happened but the com internals are completely fried just doesn't turn on so yes I could have claimed it on insurance and got it replaced but me being the smart thinker I am needing a little bit of a tax deduction I uh, thought this was a good excuse to upgrade to the Ursa that's where this comes into play. And so, yeah, it just took me a really long time to figure out what exactly I wanted to put into this rig um, and how I could make it work and suit my workflow. So I'm gonna build out this rig and show you every little thing that I put into it. Hopefully this will be of some value to those who are kitting out a 12K um, or an Ursa G2 or any other cinema rig. We, we've got a few bits and pieces, so let's jump into it. So this is just the bare bones strip down Ursa. Um, we got the V-mount uh, plate on the back. On the bottom here, we got the Ignite Digi base plate, which allows me to switch it from tripod to Movi um, just in a matter of seconds. So that was good. And then on the top here, we have the small rig uh, top handle for the Ursa. And you can actually use it on a few other cameras, but we're gonna start off with the top handle. Um, put this on. This is what it comes with. This is the top handle here. So we just slide this straight in. Bob's your uncle. Lock it into place over here. Also on this side, we have the small rig uh, cheese plate to go on the side so we can add a few extra attachments and I'll show you um, what goes on there in a sec. So we got our Top, uh, our top handle here, and then I use these uh, small rig carbon fiber 15 millimeter rods, and that's gonna be used to mount our follow focus later on. Um, and also on the top here, this is just a screw attachment for the easy rig. Top handle on, and then what we're gonna do, I like using this device here. This is made by Core. Uh, this is what we call a shark fin, and a shark fin, you put it on the back here. We switch this around. Put it on the back. Bob's your uncle. And then we grab our V-mount batteries. Um, we got two of them. Use the Light Pro 160 watt hours. And then put one on the back here. Another one. There we go. So I can leave this on for a whole day and these two batteries will get me through. Let's chuck on the lens here. So we'll take off our lens cap. And the lens I got at the moment is the DZO Pictor Zoom 13 to 40 millimeter T2.8. Been loving these lenses so far. That's gonna go on the front here. I've been using this and also the 5225 millimeter. And these have been my favorite set of lenses, super versatile, beautiful image, a little bit of character. It's not super sharp like a Sigma, but if you want a full review, we can make a full, full review later on. What I like to do next is put on our monitor. And at the moment I am using the Blackmagic Design 7 inch 12G SDI monitor. 
and I put this on the top handle just like that. I just use the small rig uh, monitor mount here. It lets me change it around 360 degrees like that tilt. Bear in mind, this is my second one. They don't last super long for some reason. They let me move the monitor all over the place. So I'm just gonna tighten it up here. There we go. So we don't have any mishaps. So we've got our monitor on here like that. Let's go ahead and get started on this side of the camera here. What we're gonna do first is we're gonna put on our side handle. Now, this is the latest addition to the kit, is we got the Tilter Nucleus M, Nucleus M side handle, it comes in the full kit, and we're just gonna put it on here. And I'll show you why I like doing this in a sec, but it just screws on to the Ari rosette. Perfect, nice and tight. The next thing we're gonna put on is this uh, little friction arm uh, from Small Rig, I believe. Yep, from Small Rig. And I usually like putting it over the top here, tighten that up. And then we are going to put our wireless video transmitter. And now I just picked up, it's the Axoon Cine Eyes 2S Pro. I actually did have the I got a few of Axoon's ones. I did have the uh, Cine I2S, which is the smaller version, and that allows you to send a wireless signal to a smart device like an iPad. But then these these are a little bit bigger. They come in a set um, here, and so this is for my first AC to pull focus. I got a little focus pulling kit. This is just going to go on here like that. Screw it in. It's always better to hide, isn't it? Cool. And then I usually like having this just kind of sitting over here out of the way. Tighten that up. What we're gonna do is we're gonna add some cables. So actually before the cables, we are gonna put on our follow focus. This is part of the Nucleus M kit. One is for uh, focus and one is for zoom. So that's what I like to control on the lens here. We'll go ahead and put these on. I think this one, make sure that's on nice and tight there. Then we'll put our second one on for our focus. Cool. Make sure it's on nice and tight. Cool. So that's our focus units there. Next step is to put on our matte box. Matte box of choice is the Polar Pro um, base camp, I think it's called. We're just gonna clip that onto the front here of our lens. Cool. And that just clamps on there. Why do I need a map box when it's got built-in NDs? Um, if I need to flag off any unwanted lens flare or if I wanna pop in any other filters um, such as a mist filter or something like that, I got that option ready to go. Alrighty, this is where the fun begins. This is where the fun begins. So first and foremost, SDI cables. So we're gonna run an SDI uh, from the monitor into our camera here. We're just gonna use the front SDI port and then we are also going to run an SDI uh, cable from our wireless transmitter into our rear SDI port here. Cool, perfect, like that. Now we are going to run our power cables as well. We will power, I like powering everything uh, off the camera where possible. You can put batteries into each of these things, but I prefer not to, just because I don't really wanna worry about extra batteries dying on me um, during set, it's all just off the one thing. Makes life a little easier. I just wanna be focused on shooting. I don't wanna be focused on my batteries dying. That's the power cable for the transmitter. Just plugs that, just plugged it back into the DTAP port around the back. Uh, power cable for wireless monitor. For the monitor, not a wireless monitor. Goes into the back here. And on our shark fin, it's got four DTAP ports, which are great. And then 
we are going to set up our follow focus. So this one is going to link each focus motor together. Perfect, that links these two together. Now this is our power cable. This is how we're gonna power it. Cool. This will run straight down the back here. One more cable we need is for our hand grip as well. We'll power, yes it is wireless, but we can also, I like powering it off the camera. Adjust that so we can put this in, bang, straight into it. And then this will come back into our focus motor over here so it can communicate to so it can get power. Freaking hell, I hate these things. They never go in right. All right, so as you can see, it looks like a hot piece of garbage. So my latest best friend are these things. They're called bongo ties. They're these little rubber bands with a wooden, and I use these to tidy up all my cables. So I'm gonna go through and tidy them all up and take out all that slack. Groovy, grab our bongo tie, and then we can actually bongo tie it to the rig. I'm just wrapping it around one of these rods. Oh no! All right, cool. So see, now that's kind of all out of the way. You're off to the races. That's how I've got everything rigged out. And if we turn it around over here, um, nice and clean on this side, you got access to everything you need. Um, we'll pop in our CFast card here. Cool. We can power her, power her up. This is the complete Ursa build out. And the best thing I love is I can pick it up here and then if we, I can control the zoom with this handle and I can also control the focus, zoom, and then also I got a cable coming that will allow me to start, stop recording. It is fun to have a nice gear, but at the end of the day, what comes back down to you being successful as a filmmaker is knowing how this gear works, how to use it in the right situation, how to light is more important than having a fancy camera set up. Um, and then also really learning the language of business and filmmaking. Um, business is the number one driver to any success as a filmmaker. So get your business skills up to date um, and then you invest into knowledge and into courses and education and into books. Um, you'll eventually have money to buy nice gear and nice gear is always fun. So hope this was helpful. Um, I'll link down below in the description everything that I use that goes into this rig. Um, and then part two, I will be showing you how this goes on to the Moby Pro um, to get some buttery smooth gimbal shots. 4K 240 gimbal. Oh yeah. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.